live from deep in the Colorado mountains. It's the Review Board with your host, Tom, the old guy. All items are presumed to be tasty. Hello everyone and welcome back to number four episode of the review board and I have my rubber gavel and I have my meat jar and I'm ready to do some work. <laughs> so um, today I've got a can of Pringles pizza. Can you see that okay? Pringles pizza flavor and for something different um, since this is the review board I saw this at uh, my local Kroger store uh, private selection snack board so I thought that might be kind of fun to do this has got uh, uh, smoked dry cured wet red wine salami gouda cheese Moroccan pit green olives and semi-sweet chocolate wafers so I'm going to try that and I've also got a couple of sodas from I believe these are products of Mexico um, Mundant uh, which is a, an, an apple soda I'm probably not going to pronounce these correctly but uh, we're going to try that one and I guess this next one is a uh, I guess like um, native to Mexico it's like one of their original flavors or something um, but it's uh, uh, Sangria Signora. And uh, so I'm looking forward to this one because I, I know what Sangria is. Uh, wine and fruit juice, I believe. So I guess we're going to start with the Pringles. Hope you all are having a good day. It's been another excellent day for an old guy. Let's give it a whiff. It just smells like Pringles. A little bit of spice maybe, but it just smells like your basic can of Pringles. Doesn't look like they're covered with much uh, in the way of their seasoning. I don't know if you can see that or not, but... It's a little bit surprising. For as little as there was, I got more of a flavor than I thought I would, but not that I'm saying that this is like a huge bowl of flavor of pizza. Mm. Well, I don't think they're too bad. I'm getting a little, like a little bit of a cheese kind of a tomato sort of flavor. Mm. Yeah, I'd have to say for a potato chip a version of what a of what pizza should taste like. I think this is about as close as you're gonna get, so guilty on that one. Um, yeah, they're okay. They they are a tasty little snack. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now I'm gonna go right into this uh, Munden apple soda. It sounds good. And then, like I said, this is a product of Mexico. Well, I'm looking forward to this. Got the trusty meat jar. like very light carbonation. Oh, that's got a nice apple smell. It's not, it doesn't smell like apple juice, which is kind of what I was expecting. It just has kind of a nice light smell. Wow. Oh, that's really good. Heck yeah. I gotta tell you that old guy personally isn't real particularly fond of like apple juice or apple drinks, but I actually really like this. This is good. Mm. 
yeah, there's not just enough carbonation for you to know that there's some in there, but not at all. Even It's even less than some of the other ones that I drink. And that's fine by me. This is going to get a gigantic guilty. This is absolutely good. Mm. Delicious, delicious. Wow. Well, yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna have, I'll be getting some more of these as time goes by. That's that's a really good soda. Awesome. Now I'm gonna just keep right on booking here and move on to this uh, private selection snack board. as far as I can without dumping it on the floor. Yeah, it looks okay. The salami smells interesting. Red wine cured. I can taste the red wine. It's, it's got a little bit of a smoky flavor. It's got just the right amount of salt. The rest of the seasonings are spot on. This is this is really good salami. Yeah, salami. Almost said pepperoni, but I know it didn't sound like that. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. That's good. Try a bite of this uh, mm, Gouda cheese. Mm, that's a good cheese. <laughs> Sorry for the fun. Couldn't help it. Mm. That's good cheese. I'm gonna try the olives. I, I like olives. Tasty. Very tasty. Chocolate. It's decent. It's not great. It's about like uh, about like eating a a big uh, semi-sweet chocolate chip, which is I guess exactly what that is. So. <clears throat> That's guilty. That's a really good thing. This is a really good little snack tray. I'll probably get some, get these a little more out of it. That's really good. Hmm. And now, this is the one that I've been waiting to try. Ever since I got this at the store, and I got, just got this at uh, my nearby Kroger. This should be really good. Uh-oh. Oh, and a little more carbonation than I thought it would. That's okay. Just about had an overflow there. Well, it did a little bit, but not too bad. Hmm. It doesn't have much of an aroma at all. I kind of expected some sort of like uh, maybe uh, grape or something. I guess I really didn't know what to do. That's good. It's really mellow. What a mellow flavor. I somehow expected it just to be, I don't know, a bolder flavor. But it's really mellow. The flavors are are good. They're just soft. Really good. 
I get kind of a, a hint of where they would use like maybe wine grapes or something in here. That's sort of what it tastes like. That's not bad. Yeah. In fact, that is, uh, I guess it's, it is what it says it is. It's, it's, it's good to me. It's tasty beverage. <laughs> Guilty. And I sure like that. I sure hate finding anything innocent on the board. Anyway, I'm going to grab an olive, a piece of cheese, and a couple of these sausages. We'll see you next time. I said sausage, but I meant salami. You know what I mean. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.